Hello from California. This is Sandy from Messy Paper Crafts, your number one online store with the most exciting crafting items. And welcome to this week's episode of What's in this box? And today I have some really exciting news for you because we have the new Stamperia in the house and this really, really great collection called Create Happiness. So let's get that out. All right, so as you can see, we have this amazing release by Stamperia with all these different looks and such a great variety. And if you follow them on Facebook or on Instagram, then you might have seen already some of the demonstrations that were done by Vicky. And she is a designer for this new line, which is called Create Happiness. And if you don't know Vicky, then definitely check her out on YouTube because she's doing there these amazing art journal pages and she is so talented how she brings in acrylic paint and ink and stencils and stamps and now she even has rub-ons in this line of create happiness and everything she does is really stunning so definitely check her out and she also does um, different mixed media projects and also cards so if you're not interested in art journaling then still check her out because all of these techniques that you see there and these products with stencils and stamps, you could obviously also use for your card making. However, I think she likes art journaling the best and therefore it's not really a big surprise that she also brought out these journals in this Dampiria line and they're also available on messypapercrafts.com. And I think it's really good because if you love art journaling, then you're obviously also the best person to design such a product because you know exactly what other art journal craft people also want. So especially in the olden days, the problem with art journaling was that the pages on like normal regular paper were not thick enough. So with these journals, they are on stone paper and we have them once in the size of A5 and one here in A6. And the stone paper is a little bit thicker than your regular tree paper, so to speak. So if you can hear this, maybe. This is how thick these pages are. And the benefit is, of course, that in your regular uh, tree paper journal, you might have to glue two pages together so that you could actually work in the journal itself, but without that any ink or acrylic paint would seep through to the other page. So this was always a little bit of a danger in the traditional journal. So here these uh, pages are really thick, so you can work directly in this art journal. So therefore this stone paper, that's really, really great. And I think the difference, as I said, this is not regular tree paper, so no trees have to die for this journal. I think it's some kind of technique where it's some kind of recycled plastic or something like this, which creates a stone paper. I'm not 100% sure, but it is still recyclable, so um, environmentally friendly, but yeah, definitely much better than your regular journal. So these are really great to have, and I think Vicky did a really great job in yeah making sure that this is what art journalists <laughs> want, that they have the thick paper. And as I said, we have these in two sizes. And then we have something really cool, which is this mixed media journal. So here, the, um, the thing that makes it so special is first of all, you have these rings. So you don't have to worry that you have to work in a way that you don't produce too much bulk. I mean, here it's also not too bad. So even if you create something that's a bit thicker, you have still some room here that this could become bigger, right? If you put in die cards or ephemera and so on. So you have still some room. But here, of course, it's even better because here you have lots of room that this could become more bulky. And as you can see, you don't have to fear this white page syndrome. So a lot of times we, as a crafter, we're a little bit stuck in our head like, 
oh my God, it's a white page. How do I start? What do I do? So here we actually have some designs already on it. So I think this is pretty cool. So here we have something with musical notes and then we have something with a bit of a crackle look. So all of these different designs, here's something with wood, here is some kind of like a text, like some scribble. And I think then here we have even more layouts and lines. So I think this is great. Here's even some kind of craft paper look. So I often find this makes it a little bit easier because we already have some kind of a starting point and then we are not so shocked by this blank page. And because this is on the ring, just have to fiddle it a little bit through, but you can also take these pages out, I believe. So if you just open this up, here we go, then you can also take these pages out if you don't want to work directly in the book, because sometimes, again, that can be a little bit of um, a problem for somebody who is new at this, because what about if you just mess it up, right? So Vicky always says it doesn't matter, it's just paper. So if you don't like the design, you just paint over it. I mean, that's obviously the easiest way to do it. If you don't like it, you just start over. But if you are worried to basically ruin the journal because now something looks terrible, that's how I am, to be honest, then this is really good because here you can just take the pages out and then obviously it's no big deal if you just throw it away or if you start over or if you maybe replace it with different pages because then you can just add it. And here is a lot of room left so that you could potentially add even more pages or as I said, you don't have to worry that you run out of space in case it gets too bulky. So I think this is really good to have as well. So I'm really glad that we have these now on our shop. So these are the journals. And now let's talk about the stencils because I think they are amazing as well. And I have this here so you can see it a little bit easier. So here we have this stencil which is called a border stencil. And I hope you can see this, yeah. <laughs> So here we have these different borders and there are some crosses and then these different forms and shapes. And this is really cool because this looks like a torn edge. And of course you could potentially create this by just tearing off paper and then you could just um, yeah, create a border with that. But because paper is obviously not that good to keep it for a long time because you can uh, just tear it apart and then you can't use it. That would mean every time you do a project, you have to tear up a new paper. So with a stencil, it's obviously easier. And then you can just lay it to the side and do your inking here, turn it around, do it more inking here and so on without that you have to worry that you damage this because paper obviously would be damaged over time. And here with the stencil, you don't have that problem. So this is border stencil number one. And then there is another one. Here, this is border stencil number two. Similar in the concept, a little bit of a different border here. And instead of crosses, we have hearts and it's a little bit more romantic. So I would say this is maybe a bit more like your everyday kind of use case. It's um, yeah, kind of more like a standard look. And here it's a bit more romantic. So I think this is great to have as well when you have a lot of choice. So these are the two border stencils. Really cool. I love this with the crosses as well. And then we have these really funky, more conceptual stencils. So this one is called Book. And here we have this kind of text and then we have these lines and we have these coffee stains. So I love this one. It's really cool to see how Vicky is just using parts of this in her demonstrations. I love that. And also this one, she's using this a lot as well in the YouTube videos with this compass. And as you can see, it has this compass look. And then you also can just fill in other bits as well. So it's really great to have either these elements as a compass in the background 
or you could just use these little dots and this way you create a lot of texture. And then last but not least, we have this one here, which is um, more like a postcard related stencil. So you have this postage paid stamp here, for example, two more stamps down here. And then I love this because you have all this kind of scribble and text. So this is really versatile as well. So these all work also really nicely together or on their own. And then we have this really cool pack of ephemera. Some are bigger, some are smaller. And then you also probably see why it makes sense to have two different art journals. So I think a lot of time with these bigger ones, we can be more creative, but sometimes we're a little bit stuck in our head. And with the smaller ones, obviously you fill the page faster. So it's a bit easier to just get into it. So I've, I kind of feel like having both is nice because yeah, sometimes we know exactly what we want and other times we just want to experiment a little bit. And if you see these ephemera pieces, then it also makes sense why you have different sizes because this one is obviously better for bigger pages but then you also have these smaller pieces that you can still use in the smaller journal and i just think all these pieces they are so incredible i mean look at this so beautiful then we have this uh, camera here i love this such a great vintage look and these ephemera pieces they're all self-adhesive so they're actually stickers but it's up to you if you want to just stick it down. So this way, obviously, if you're worried about creating too much bulk, then this is the flattest way to basically just stick them down. Or what Vicky does a lot in her videos is that she actually doesn't peel this off. She actually uses glue on here, but leaves out the border. So she doesn't put it too close to the border. And this way she can stick it down but is still able to put things behind it so you can still tag it in. And this way you can just create a little bit more dimension and more interest. So this is really up to you, but I like that you can do both here. Then we have these really cool boots. And this one I really love. These cups that are, or mugs that um, are stuck together. It's just so cool. Then we have this really nice book. And then we have all of these little pieces that are really great to decorate the bigger item. So I think in one of her tutorials, Vicky actually uses these boots as a big uh, foreground element. But then she puts in a lot of these little flowers in here. And this way you just create a lot more interest. So I think this is really, really fun. So we have all these different flowers and a butterfly and then all different leaves. Here, like half a butterfly that you can just tuck in somewhere or like in here. So I love this look. It's a really matte look as well. So I think there's some kind of coating on, but you can still ink it and um, create whatever uh, vintage vibe you want. And I just love this. It's really, really beautiful. So those are the ephemera pieces. And next one up, let's talk about these rubbons. So similar in style, here we also have a lot of flowers and butterflies and these leaves. And they just work that you put them down and as the name suggests, you just rub them on. And once again, if you have no idea what to do with these, then definitely check out Vicky's videos because for me, rubber is always a little bit complicated because I seem to buy it and then not using it because somehow I'm always worried that I mess it up. But when you see how Vicky is using them, then this is really inspiring. So all these different looks here are really amazing. So this one is definitely another one that I don't I have to use <laughs> because here it stamps, right? So with stamps, it's a little bit easier because if it doesn't work out then you just use it again, you just wipe the color off and try it again. With the rub-ons, I'm always thinking, oh no, I have to buy then a whole new set if I mess it up. But Again, I really should get over myself, as Tim Holtz would say. <laughs> and um, yeah, so here we have these really cool background stamps, I would say, with this kind of texture look. So we have the uh, stains again, similar to the stencil. We have these nice little scribbles here that I think are always great for backgrounds. 
here the text actually says happiness is a choice not a result nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy no person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy your happiness will not come to you it can only come from you and i love this i mean this is called create happiness and this is so true so i think this is wonderful so this is probably one of my favorite um stamp sets because i just think it's so versatile i can imagine a lot of different things that you can create with these little stamps here and this little ticket then you have all this different texture so i think this is really great and then we also have this alphabet stamp and i love this as well because it's a little bit more of this whimsical look so a lot of times when i watched vicky in her youtube videos she creates on one side some kind of focal point and then on the other side she yeah creates this great sentiment that fits to the focal point and i always thought her text it looks so like i don't know like romantic or almost like a calligraphy or something and i could never really figure out which stamp set would go best with that so i tried different ones but they almost look too industrial so never really fit some kind of romantic foreground element so here i'm really happy that we have this now in our line because i believe that with this stamp set you can really do a lot of different sentiments so i love this one i hope you love this as well because i don't know i just think it's not too kitschy or romantic or you know has too many squirrely lines that you can't read it anymore i think it's just perfect so this was all create happiness and i think it does <laughs> i think it's amazing let me put this a bit to the side so we can talk now about the next thing which is now completely different it's called desire and as you can see we have these beautiful pages like oh my god so on the one side we always have this cool um, bonus sheet so to speak because we have this great sentiment that Stamperia provides here so we have all these different labels here which are called love desire wish dream and feel do it with passion or not at all desire is the engine of creation so all these beautiful phrases about desire and then of course we have this amazing design and these great illustrations here with this yeah place du tango then we have this great car it's almost also a little bit like cuban or something because it's somewhat of course spanish and tango but it also has this kind of retro vibe like very typical for stamperia that they somehow create these looks where it's modern and retro at the same time i just think it's amazing then we have this great um, page here with notes then this one here lover's arc then more of these cards this time a little bit smaller with the guitars and these um yeah flamenco shoes <laughs> i suppose and these dances it's just so stunning then one page with roses and then at the end you get these cutouts and if that's not enough in the terms of cutouts then let's have a look at this one here this is the collectible package for desire so here we can cut out even more which i think is always great so again we have more of these dances then all these motifs that we've just seen with the Café Tango, Cal, Calle de Tango. I'm sorry, my Spanish is rusty. <laughs> Probably say this all wrong. But I love these cards here. I think, again, this kind of 50s retro look, almost like an old movie poster or something. I just think it's so amazing. Then I also love this phone booth. Here, another car. And again, if you don't want to cut these things out here on this side, you can always use this here as a background as well. I think this is a really great um, add-on to have, especially if you don't maybe want a scrapbooking page, but maybe more like a card or a journal, then I think this is perfect. I love these, like the phone and the dresses. Then more cutouts here for roses. And then we have this um, maybe great for like a, 
uh, birthday card for a male. And then again, the music page. So I think this is really cool because sometimes you want to maybe create more layers and then it's nice to have an add-on where you can cut out further things or just use more backgrounds on top. And speaking about backgrounds, if you need it, not the kind of journaling or art uh, card making um, size, because here it's six times 12. If you actually want a background for your scrapbooking, then here we have a whole pack as well, where you can just get more backgrounds. So I think this is really good because it's always nice to have more options to layer on. So here you can see hopefully how many more backgrounds there are. Again, the notes, but then you also get some that are a little bit different in style. So I think this is really cool as well. And then if you don't want the 12 by 12 scrapbooking page, then you can also get the smaller ones. These are six by six, but the same as I just shown you, just a smaller size. And also we have more ephemera. So let me open this as well. All right. So here we have these great bigger pieces, again, that are just amazing for any foreground. Let's start with those. All right, so here we have this really cool car. And then the scene that you just saw. I love this one, really cool window front. I think that's awesome. And also this door, I just love this one. This is so pretty. And then we have a little bit smaller pieces, like this dancer here, but also a smaller version here. Like again, woman and man. I love this one, this is so great. Again, such a nice retro style. And we have this table and chairs, the flamenco guitar, I assume. And then obviously <laughs> this fan and some more of these smaller pieces here. Love this one as well. And some more musical instruments, violin, I would say. <laughs> then one more of those, some flowers, obviously, some roses because it's desire. So we need to have roses. <laughs> also, we have these little shoes, so adorable. <laughs> and what else? We'll sing with magic belief and one sentiment was imagine the female shoes of course if we had the male shoes another rose last but not least the dancing couple so i think these are just beautiful and fitting to all of this of course we also have rice paper same um as you just saw the same scene and i love this this is so romantic would be really good for like Valentine's Day or something, or if you're in love with somebody, I just think it's beautiful. And I also love this one, the see Carmen music. So really, really nice. And as you can see, a whole different look. Once again, this is more like this bit more neutral, romantic vintage look. And then here we go full on desire. <laughs> and that's not it, we have some more. Next is the our way. So as you can see, a whole different design. So let's open this up. Now we're going a little bit more into fall colors, I would say. So we have more of this kind of brownish tint, but really nice because our way is kind of vacation and travel inspired. And I just love this whole retro look. So I just think this is so beautiful. Love this Big Ben, like the two girls traveling together, beautiful paper. Here it says, travel journal, true friends, chase your dreams, let the journey begin. And more sentiments here. Every moment is a fresh start, explore, the world is waiting for you. It's not the destination, it's a journey. Follow your dreams, they know the way. So I just think this is so cool. I love this one here where it looks like an old 
um, like a card or like this old um, airmail. Really fun. Then look at these cards, just gorgeous. Here again, like an old English postcard, London with the tickets. And then we also brought out a stencil in this same look where you also get these postcards and this ticket here. I think this is really great to have. And of course, more ephemera. <laughs> so one is again with the adhesive. So here we have ephemera where you can just stick it on because it's self-adhesive. And we have all these great um, items that you just saw, like the girl, we have feathers, we have these tickets, like an old film strip. It's all about um, traveling and um, photographing, obviously your travel and all of that. So, so cool. And then another pack with die cuts. So these you have to stick on. I think these are not adhesive, but they're a little bit thicker, I think, than these ones. So these are more like stickers and these are a little bit more like chipboard. So it just depends on um, what you like best. But similar once again, so we have all these different flowers, like what you just saw with the desire package here. It's um, obviously for the our way paper. So all different tickets here, like this one with the little bus. This is so cute. And the camera, then the film strip. I love all of these. They're so stunning. Then again, similar to before, if you don't want the 12 by 12 because it's too big for you, because you don't scrapbook, but maybe you want something for a card, then it's also available in six by six. And here also the collectible. So if you do think you don't want the ephemera, but you would rather have something that you could use either for a background or for putting on as a focal point, then I think this is pretty great as well. So here again, similar to what you just saw, all these different motives, similar to what you would see in here. But of course, here it's paper and here it's shipboard. I love all of these, like all these camera elements. Then again, you have these cards. Again, here, different postcards elements. Here it's all about traveling in London, like Big Ben, and of course, double-decker bus and the phone box. So cute, really cool. Some different maps, some different luggage and suitcases. I love this page, all these tickets. That's probably my favorite, I love it. Everything with tickets, it's just so cool. Everything with postcards and everything with tickets. I don't know. <laughs> I love this. Also, this is cute here as well. All these feathers. And then another background. So it's really up to you if you want to use these like all as cutouts or if you just want to use them as a background. So it's a little bit different to the desire where they had more like full on backgrounds. But I think here you can still decide if you want to cut it out or just use it as a background and then just put something on top. So it really depends on your use case, but I have to say these are so beautiful. And last but not least, as I promised, one more that was covered under everything. And again, a whole different style as, I don't know, I said, uh, I've never seen so many different styles in one release. I mean, Stamperia just gets better and better each time. Here we have something called Bauhaus and obviously as a German, this is totally um, in my element because now I can speak half German to you. <laughs> so here we have all of these different Bauhaus architectural designs that um, I'm not sure, I think 20s or 30s or something was when this was kind of fashionable that um, these artists brought out this very specific yeah, Bauhaus style. So it has this really bold look. But I don't know, some people online said they love it and some said it's too bold. <laughs> I let you decide if you love it or if you hate it. 
but I think this is really funky. So it's very abstract, a little bit surreal in this respect. But I love this. So here, for example, you can read Punkt und Linie zu Fläche or Bauhausbücher Grundbegriffe. So you can use these, obviously, if you understand German or you can just, I don't know, put something over it or just use different elements if you don't want anything in German. <laughs> so that's all up to you. But I just love it. I think it's really interesting to look at. And even though I believe the Bauhaus style is more like 20s or 30s, it's also a little bit like 70s. So I love all of these colors and this kind of funky, um, yeah, like bold shape and um, these different elements that it has. I just think it's funny because here it's called um, triadic ballet and it has these funky, um, I don't know what they are. <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen them before. But um, I don't know, to call this a ballet with these different uh, stylistic elements here with these weird robots. <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny. But I think it's so interesting. So once again, a whole different look, but I love it. I mean, again, this is almost like postcards from the 50s or something. So it's very difficult to pinpoint a time to it. So it's kind of all over the place. But I think this is interesting because I love artists um, like Salvador Dali and all of this. So the weirder, the better, in my humble opinion. But look at this. I mean, isn't this great? I don't know. I love it. But I understand if this is too bold and too quirky and too industrial or architectural, then that makes sense as well. But I just love this. I mean, this, for example, this is so artistic. Here it's kind of like a Scrabble page. Then here you have all these great tags and then this. I mean, if you love color, then I say this is totally for you. I mean, this is just so awesome, like this retro look. I mean, I just think it's awesome. And then on the last page, once again, you have these cutouts. So we have this in 12 by 12 and 6 by 6. And let me know what you think, because personally, I think it's great because anything that's more surreal, I love. But I also love this retro look. And I think it's also great to have something that's a bit more bold and passionate, like the desire. And then, of course, if you love art journaling, then this is the line for you with create happiness. And per usual, if you want to see more of all these exciting crafting items, then press the subscribe button. And with this, I wish you a really crafty day. And remember, no stressy, be messy and have fun. See you next time.